We're back at 743 and this morning on Rossum reports a growing new trend and it could be putting babies at risk. Mothers who buy breast milk online. Jeff Rossum is today's national investigative correspondent. He's got the story. Good morning to you. Hey, Savannah. Good morning. Look, doctors still say breast milk is best for your baby. So women feel a lot of pressure to do it. But what happens when they can't produce milk for themselves? Some are turning to popular websites to buy breast milk, paying about $2 an ounce. But according to a new study out just this morning, many of those bottles could be contaminated with everything from staff to salmonella. It's a booming business. Women selling breast milk online, promising their milk is healthy, high quality, and nutritious. We found thousands of ads. Look at all these postings from moms. When we ordered some, the milk was at our doorstep in days. Fast and convenient which is why more and more new moms are buying it. I've always heard that breast is best. Kelsey Salerno tried to breastfeed her son, Bentley, but when she couldn't, she got desperate and responded to an ad on this popular website, onlythebreast.com, and bought 150 ounces of breast milk from a woman in a different state. I had a lot of friends who, when I told them about this, and family members who said to me, why would you do that? Why would you let your son have somebody else's breast milk? I just thought to myself, well, that's what he needs. While doctors recommend breastfeeding for infants, what's really in some milk sold on the Internet may stop moms in their tracks. Oh, this milk is totally thawed. Scientists at Nationwide Children's Hospital tested more than 100 samples of breast milk they bought online. The results released this morning in the journal Pediatrics. Researchers found most of the samples, 74 percent, were contaminated. We found staph bacteria, strep bacteria, salmonella, and also bacteria that are usually found in human waste like E. coli. And this is the kind of bacteria that can make a baby sick. That's right. It could cause anything from just mild diarrhea to even infant deaths. While the website offers tips for keeping milk safe, researchers say that's not enough. All the milk is still frozen. Even though the milk we bought was shipped cold, researchers say it could still be bad. Bacteria already growing inside. You look at these ads online, the women selling the milk make some pretty big claims. They say, I'm healthy, I'm disease free, I work out a lot, it's good quality milk. Can you believe them? You don't even know if it's breast milk. You don't know what's been done to it. It could be cow's milk, it could be infant formula, or something entirely else. If you're happy and you know That's why Kelsey has stopped buying milk from strangers online, fearing for her son's safety. If I knew about all the research and what they found in the breast milk, it probably would have scared me off. <laughs> There is no telling how many children may have gotten sick from this. The FDA says you just shouldn't do it. You shouldn't buy breast milk from strangers, warning of the risks. In fact, that website we showed you in the piece just had a big announcement over the weekend. Because of those safety concerns, women will no longer be able to post ads selling their milk. Instead, the site is going to start a milk bank that screens donors and verifies the milk is safe. We have a link on our website, by the way, Savannah, today.com. You click on the Rossum Report section. We're going to help you find the milk bank closest to you for these desperate moms who the doctors say you need to buy the breast milk or get breast milk somehow. We're going to have a link to show you where you can get it and see if your baby qualifies. You want to make sure it's getting screened, though. Yeah. Jeff, thank you very much.